Dude, listen to this. The Banks injunction has brought an obscure group of dreamers to prominence, paradoxically generating more attention for their apparently uncensorable leaking machine. And the Banks clients may now face prosecution in Germany, the US. <laughs> Can you believe it? Actual justice for those assholes? <laughs> <laughs> the, the judge pulled the injunction. We're back online. <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> we won! We took down a billion dollar bank, man! This is crazy, we have to celebrate. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, we can order some beers or something. No, I mean with everyone, with Jay Lim and Bellman and everyone else. This is a team effort, we should get up everyone on Skype or something. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of late. I just got an email from Bellman and Jay was online 50 minutes ago. What, do you think Skype isn't secure? No, no, it's probably time you meet everyone face to face. I don't get it, it says I call... Yo, Bowman. And Jay Lim. How many volunteers do we have? Hundreds. We have hundreds of volunteers. What? I have hundreds of email addresses. That is not the same thing. Every startup exaggerates its size. No one's gonna leak sensitive information to two freaks on a single server. We only have one server? Well, not as far as the rest of the world is concerned. Castro began a revolution with 82 men. It doesn't matter how small you are as long as you have faith and, and a plan of action. I lied to dozens of reporters. Our source of ju It's a hack. Okay, it's an inelegant solution. I have a hundred of friends I could call. People who would be happy to help. This, this is bullshit! Open it. There are three of us. Mendax, Trax, Prime Suspect. Three boys with cartoon names out looking for harmless adventures. Subversives one and all. And when the federal police finally caught up to us, Trex pled guilty, but Prime Suspect, he turned crowd and witness against me. I can remember being stuck in this tiny little room waiting for the verdict pacing around in figure eights like some demented bee, waiting to see if I was going to spend the rest of my life in a tiny cell. The stress? <laughs> that was... that was when my hair actually started falling out. You don't get anywhere in this world relying on other people. People are loyal right up until it's opportune not to be. And now, I'm reaching out. Vulnerable. The tyrants we're up against have money and men and guns and I don't have an army to fight them. All I have is a website and a couple of fake emails and you. Do I have you? <laughs> 